Hey guys, welcome to another DBMS tutorial. Today we will be learning about the select operation in relational DBMS. So let's get started. If you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please watch this video if you find it useful. Please consider subscribing. Thank you. Alright, so first thing, what are we going to learn today? First, we will look at what is select operation, then how is select operation denoted, then we will look at some examples of select operation. Please make sure not to skip the video, else you'll miss the important parts. And I'll try to be as quick as possible, so you don't have to worry about the timing. Let's get started. First thing, what is select operation? Now, let's say the select operation is used to choose a subset of the tuples from a relation that satisfies a selection condition. So this is the definition. Now, what does that mean? So let's, let's say basically we have a table called employee. Now, out of this entire table, we want to select a subset of tuples that satisfies a selection condition. All right. For example, let's say our satisfactory condition is age is less than 30. Okay. So there are only two employees, Rahul and Rohit, whose age is less than 30. So we select this subset of these two rows from this entire table. So this is what select operation does. Now, how is select operation? working basically what it does is it divides the entire table into two parts so we have got all the tuples and what we do is the select operation basically acts like a horizontal rule it divides the tuples into two parts the tuples that satisfy the select condition and the tuples that don't satisfy the select condition all right now how is select operation denoted let's look at the denotation okay so in general the select operation is denoted like this we have got the sigma then we have got the selection condition and then we have got the relation table okay now the symbol sigma denotes the select operator the select condition is a boolean expression that specifies the attributes of the relation r okay what attributes we want that selection condition it specifies okay and the relation r is the table all right now let's look at an example to understand this better okay so let's say we want to select the employees whose salary is greater than 15000 okay so what is the condition salary greater than 15,000 from where we want to select from the table employees. So how we'll write it the sigma that is the select operator. Then we have got the selection condition and the relation R. So sigma what is the selection condition salary greater than 15,000 from the table employee. All right. Now how does this work is basically first we select the entire table employee and out of that employee table we select only those rows that satisfy this condition. Okay. So let's look at it over here. So let's say this is the select operator and we have got the employee table or employee relation over here. Now out of this entire employee table. So first we select the entire table and from this now we'll only choose those rows that satisfy the selection condition. So which are the two or which is the one that satisfy the condition? Rahul. Why? Because what is the selection condition? The salary is greater than 15,000. So Rohit's salary is 15,000. It is not greater than 15,000. Rohan's salary is 12,000. But Rahul's salary is 20,000. Okay. So hence, out of this whole table, we select just this Rahul because he satisfies the condition. That is, his salary is greater than 15,000. Now, why did we select the entire table? Look at this. If we had chosen just the condition salary greater than 15,000 first, what would happen? We wouldn't have gotten all the details of all the columns over here. We would have gotten just the salary column. Okay. But we want the data for this entire row. Hence, what we do is we select the table first and then on that table, we apply the selection condition. Okay. So that select operator uses the select condition on the entire table. All right. So hence, we have got our 20,000 uh, satisfies the condition. Hence, we have chosen this entire row. Now, let's look at another example. So, let's say we want to select the employees whose salary is greater than 15,000 or employees whose age is less than 30. Okay. So, again, what is the representation or how you write it? We denote it like this. This is the select operator. This is the selection condition. And this is the table R. Okay. So, what we write is select operator. We'll write the condition. What is the first condition? Salary is greater than 15,000. So, salary greater than 15,000 on which table? On table employee. Okay. And what is the next condition? Or the employees whose age is less than 30. Again, so we write over here or and the select operator for this table employee 
and what is the selection condition age is less than 25 okay so now how it will look in the table format so let's say we have got the select operator and we are going to apply it on the entire employee table okay so we have applied it to the entire employee table now we have got all the columns in this row okay now out of this first condition was salary greater than 15000 so rahul is the only one who satisfies this condition or we have to select a person whose age is less than 25 okay so rohit also satisfies that condition so we have got our two rows that satisfy one or the other condition so what data we are going to get out of this so we'll get the following data after the select operation first we'll get the first row of rahul that is 1 2 3 comma rahul comma 20000 comma 27 and the next row we'll get is 133 comma rohit comma 15000 comma 24 so this is the data that we'll get after the select operation i hope you guys found this video useful if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comment section below thank you very much and please make sure to hit that subscribe button thank you